And today, we're going to focus on perhaps the most important foundational technology of our time, artificial intelligence. Meta is surprising with a lot of things. They're always trying to make something great. Today, we're going to find how Meta's modern text-to-image CTI innovation will give you the boost you need. So without any further ado, let's dive into the topic. Since a few years ago, artificial intelligence programs that create images when you write a term have dazzled the world. Programs like Stable Diffusion and Dolly will output graphics in any style you like and subtly vary by utilizing various prompted phrases. Typically, those programs have relied on modifying sample photos by applying a process of compression to the example image and then decompressing them to recover the original. This technique is known as diffusion, and it allows the programs to learn the laws of image generation. Recently, generative AI models have attracted increased interest because of advances in natural language processing and software that creates graphics from text input. Meta presented its most recent findings on Chameleon, a transformer-based model that produces text-to-image output that is state-of-the-art and demonstrates novel, multimodal AI capabilities. With Chameleon, an autoregressive model has successfully competed with top generative diffusion models on significant benchmarks for the first time. The next word on a language model like ChatGPT can be predicted using those indices. Instead of pixel prediction, which is far less computationally intensive operation, high-resolution images become sequences of index predictions. The neural net known as Chameleon, which is pronounced Chameleon, is a big language model capable of handling an image codebook, and it was put together by Meta's you and colleagues using the codebook approach. Chameleon expands upon CM3, or Casually Masked Multimodal Modeling, a predecessor program that FAIR launched the previous year. It's similar to ChatGPT in that it is a transformer-style program that has been trained to predict the following element in sequence a decoder-only transformer architecture, but it also combines that with masking parts of what is typed similar to Google's BERT program, so that it can also gain context from what may come later in sentence. Chameleon expands upon CM3 by incorporating retrieval. Retrieval, which is crucial in large language models, refers to the program's ability to phone home, if you will, to search through a database of documents and pull out any document that might be pertinent to the output of the program. It's a technique for memory access so that the neural network weights or perimeters don't have to carry all the data required to generate predictions. Chameleon is the first multimodal model created using a recipe modified from text-only language models. It has two multitask supervised fine-tuning SFT stages and a large-scale retrieval augmented pre-training stage. For both the image and text documents, you and his team claim that the database is a vector databank that can be searched. In an innovative twist, the researchers use a library of 7 million licensed photos from stock photography company Shutterstock instead of internet photographs as the training data set. This allows them to avoid issues with image rights and attribution without compromising performance. The pre-training phase of Chameleon uses Shutterstock photos pulled from the database to develop the program's capabilities. The pre-training process is the same for ChatGPT and other substantial language models. It then goes through supervised fine-tuning, or SFT, where the input and output of the pre-trained chameleon are both fed back into the model to further refine it. The end consequence of all the program that excels at many text image jobs, reaching the state of the art. The data set used as their main test is Microsoft Coco Captions, which was created by Zillian Chen of Carnegie Mellon University and colleagues and published in 2015. The development of generative AI models that can generate visuals from text prompts has accelerated recently. Short text descriptions can be used to create photorealistic settings of portraits using models like Midjourney, Dolly 2, and Stable Diffusion. These models employ a method known as diffusion, which entails iteratively lowering noise in an image made completely of noise and progressively getting it closer to the intended target. Although diffusion-based techniques provide excellent results, their high computing demands present difficulties because they can be expensive to run and frequently lack the speed needed for real-time applications. Chameleon uses different strategies. Since it's a transformer-based model, it uses attention mechanisms to assess the usefulness of input material, including text and graphics. Due to its unique architectural design, Chameleon is more effective than conventional diffusion-based technique regarding training speeds and parallelization. Chameleon achieves an FID score of 4.88 on the MS Coco dataset after being effectively trained on a dataset of licensed photos using just one TPU pod. Chameleon can faithfully reproduce an image from a prompt like a small cactus wearing a straw hat and neon sunglasses in the Sahara Desert. The model also excels at modifying existing photographs in accordance with freeform language directions 
such as changing the color of the sky or inserting objects in particular places. These skills considerably excel what top models like the Dolly 2 are currently capable of. Autoregressive models' flexibility and strength are combined with training and inference effectiveness and economy to create Chameleon. Because of its adaptable architecture, Chameleon can easily switch between activities involving text, pictures, and composition. Beyond text-to-image conversion, Chameleon can also provide image captions, respond to inquiries regarding an image's content, and even produce images from textual descriptions of segmentation maps and bounding boxes. For publicly known AI systems, this fusion of modalities into a single model is unique. The resolution and detail of the Chameleon output can be greatly enhanced by integrating a separate super-resolution stage. The success of Chameleon can largely be ascribed to its distinctive architecture and training techniques. Similar to well-known text-based models, the model uses a decoder-only transformer architecture but can also handle images and text. Retrieval enhancement, drawing on the latest research in the field, and instruction fine-tuning across multiple picture and text creation tasks are all part of training. Meta dramatically improved Chameleon's performance in picture captioning, visual QA, and text-based editing by using a method known as supervised fine-tuning across modalities. Chameleon matches or outperforms the results of other models trained on as many as 100 billion text tokens, despite having only been trained on 3 billion. Autoregressive models' flexibility and strength are combined with the training and inference effectiveness and economy to create Chameleon. The CM3 model satisfies the requirements for a casual mass mixed modal model since it can produce text and image sequences dependent on any given text and image sequence. This is a significant improvement over older models that could only handle one of these tasks. The researchers demonstrate that applying large-scale multitask instruction tuning to Chameleon for both picture and text synthesis can significantly improve performance on tasks including image caption generating, visual question answering, text-based editing, and conditional image generation. To produce higher resolution images from the initial model outputs, the team has added an independently trained super resolution step. When and whether Chameleon could be made available to the public was not made clear by Meta. However, Meta's research represents a substantial advance in the development of multimodal models that can produce text and visuals. A blog post said, We hope to encourage collaboration and innovation in the field of generative AI by making our work transparent. A variety of generative artificial intelligence features have been released by Meta during the past few months across all of its platforms, including AI-generated stickers for Messenger, an AI sandbox for Facebook's advertisers. It's an amazing accomplishment that suggests a time when AI systems will be able to seamlessly switch between comprehending, editing, and producing text, video, and graphics. Fascinating, right? It's an amazing to know how technology is improving day to day. So that's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell icon to get more interesting videos like this.